Winterfest. Winterfest is in its 10th year this year. We started with a much smaller rink 10 years ago. And the city of Hartford at the time brought it down here and they were running it. And then actually it was a little challenging for them to run it and they brought champion skating in to go ahead and set up the rink and operate the rink. This whole project, if you really look at it, really carries out the initial purpose of Bushnell Park. Horace Bushnell, who was a reverend, wanted to have a public park where everybody, rich, poor, young, old, could come and enjoy nature. And his vision of everybody coming together is really happening here in the wintertime. The whole thing was about to get people outside and have some free family fun activity in the wintertime in our beautiful Bushnell Park in the city of Hartford. It takes a big team to do this. All the planning, all the processes that uh, come together and the people that come together to make an outdoor skating rink happen. There's a lot of talented people in this community that are highly intelligent, that have great skill sets and have a tremendous work ethic. They just want a chance. Bob, who owns Champions, you know, he employs a great team. Kevin and Denmar and Javon, I mean, they're all great, great guys. And, and they care about this rink more than anything. Kathleen is our secret weapon because she's the one that does all the organization um, to get the rink up and running. Hats off to them. They're the ones that really make this all happen. I work here. This is my, my second year. Been here five. Nine. I love it here. I come here every year. This is my fifth time working here. And I, I love this job so much that I always come back. I love it here. It's a great collection of guys. We have a great collection of young women. This is my second year. I'm from here, Hartford, Connecticut. Originally, I was from Jamaica. I'm from everywhere. This year, I have managed everybody here. Co-workers are great, and we always have a good time, so it's, I love it. I like the, the atmosphere of it. You know, it was really nice working here. One day, I just wanted to come here, came here, and then just kicked off from there. This job, legit, life-changing for me. It gave me a, a career, you know what I mean? It gave me um, a different way, you know what I mean? It does that for a lot of people too. My operations person who helps me literally put the ring together physically, Jose Alejandro, does a lot of extra work uh, to make this happen. He's created opportunities for a lot of other people that just needed a chance. Got the job. Thanks to Jose, he gave me the opportunity to, you know, work here. We'll probably see this year about 40 to 50,000 people here at the rink, both city of Hartford and regional people. People come from, you know, as far as way as Greenwich, New York. California, Puerto Rico. Massachusetts from New York. China, Australia, a lady came from London. So what happened this weekend? What happened this weekend? Mother Nature. Not supposed to happen. <laughs> You gotta love, you gotta love winter. Yeah, yeah, you gotta love winter. We had a 72 degree day. As far as I remember, we've never had a 72 degree day. And that was coming off a 64 degree and sunny day. That's very difficult to keep 100 by 100 pieces of ice in the park. And unfortunately, we lost most of the sheet. The compressor just couldn't keep up with the heat. It was way too hot. We were closed for the whole day because the pipes were showing and there was no ice. We tried our hardest to keep it from um, melting. We did a good job. We stood out here around the clock. We couldn't pour water to freeze it because of the temperature outside. So we had to wait till later on that night where it dropped down to like 30 degrees where we can pour water and it freezes over. Left at like four something in the morning when uh, Superman showed up to take it over from there. My guy, Jose. Last night, I had a long day. I don't know how many hours he's had of sleep in the last three days. You know, I'd be surprised if it was five or 10. But yo, I got here and I realized Denmark had a long day, an extra long day, you know what I mean? And um, we we're kind of arguing about, you know, who should leave, but it was different. It was like, Yo, you go home, and you're like, no, 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 you go home, you know what I mean? It's like, you care, you know what I mean? If it could be fixed, we should fix it. And that situation could be fixed. We just needed some time and some extra effort to get it done, and we did. Yeah, it's good now. It's the magic of Hartford in the wintertime. We have a very diverse audience out here at Winterfest, and everybody's on a level playing field. It's 
accessible. This is a great location and it's affordable because the sponsors have kindly donated to make sure that this is free for all. Look around on those walls. Those are the people you should be supporting because they really support what's going on down here. Bob is awesome. Without him, we wouldn't be here and we're all thankful that he had the idea to make this happen. I was looking to do things right and they gave me an opportunity. Even if it's two jobs, I'll come back here just to work with them. I, I love this place. Hopefully they give me the, the opportunity to work next year. We have to take the ice out. We have to pack it up, roll it away until next year. If you read through some of his stuff, Horst Bushnell said when he was designing the park, he wanted a place where everybody could come together. Well, it might sound silly that an ice rink does that, but I think this ice rink does that. There's nothing bad here. Everything is just good. It's a lot of good. It's just a lot of good.